guys, how's it going? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. Sorry for the poor audio quality. I'm trying to fix that actually on a lot of my, a lot of my videos, so pretty soon there'll be very, you know, clear sound. I hope this is at least good enough, you know, to kind of get you through. Um, so we have another one of these uh, sketchbook sessions. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm going to do another one now. Basically, I'm going to go through and do another page of this sketchbook. It's a sketchbook that I bought and I've done the entire thing on camera. You can see the whole thing on a playlist that I will link on the screen somewhere. But every single page is going to be done on camera. And uh, that's about it. We're going to add another page. Also, on a really, really, really fast announcement, um, check out my Instagram. My Instagram is sketch underscore monster and then the number one. But check that out if you haven't. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. And let's start this sketch already. All right, so let's start this drawing. Let me talk uh, really quick. The first thing I'm going to say is um, this is actually the first one of these I'm recording after the fact. You know, normally I talk during, but sometimes that interferes with my thoughts. So this is the first one I'm going to try actually recording it afterward. So please let me know in the comments, you know, like after this, whether you, you know, like that or not, whether you want me to just read it during or if you like the aftermath thing. So like right now I'm free to kind of just look at the video with everybody else. Um so, um, you know, in my sketchbook, uh, along with these, like, I'm, I'm obviously starting to scratch that in, and that is a really big thing that I always do. I like scratching stuff in. If you've seen the other ones, because I don't really, I, I don't start with a plan beforehand for these sketchbooks, or even for most of my stuff in my own sketchbook. I kind of like just messing around. And uh, you know that I tend to draw what I'm thinking of at the moment, you know, what I'm practicing, you know, in my own practice. That's tends to what comes out in these. And um, right now it's a bird. Uh, animals, if you've seen my channel for the last, what, month or two, I've been really into drawing animals uh, because I only just started to learn, to really learn how to draw animals, like, uh, I don't know, several months back um, in a school in L.A. Uh, and I was just, like, really blown away by this class. And I was like, God, animals are so neat. Um... But, so, yeah, so that pretty much I'm starting to scratch in a bird. And a bird is, it's funny because I haven't actually had as much practice on birds as I had on, like, deer, on prey animals, on, like, tigers and stuff like that. Um, you know, because a lot of them tend to have this very, very similar anatomy to us, you know what I mean? Because we're all essentially uh, descended from, uh, like, we all have a common ancestry, so when you look at our bone structure, it's there's a lot of similarities. It's almost, like, like ridiculous how similar... Uh, a lot of the muscles are um, going in here. Drawing bird head more again as well. I kind of I was thinking maybe Lord of the Rings or something like that. Just kind of like like big kind of hawk eagle type thing maybe over something. I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Right now I'm just trying to go into the face and I'm trying to kind of make it look like a bird enough. You know. Um, also, one of the things I've been doing a lot is I'm going to the zoo. I got a zoo pass. Uh, and I've been going a lot. Like, I mean, I was going like three times a week at one point, you know. Uh, right now, I haven't gone the last week, but I'm going to try to make uh, some time to go this week. Uh, I've been My sleep schedule's been crazy. Just crazy. I've been going to sleep like, you know, 5 a.m. and then waking up like at tw 2 in the afternoon. It's it's I know it's not healthy, um, but I've been doing that. And it's like, ah, I, I'm trying to get it back. I ended up kind of moving it back, so now I'm kind of on a normal sleep schedule again for the, at least the last two to three days. But, you know, it happens. I'm putting horns on it. I wanted to differentiate this thing somehow. You know what I mean? It's kind of a lame differentiation, but I was like, eh, you know, horns. Horns are easy. You know what I mean? Why not? Don't get too crazy. Maybe give him some teeth. Maybe a prehistoric bird. Um, but yeah, just kind of going in here as well. Also been very, uh, for the last week, uh, I've been really, really, really into drawing, like, uh, to, like, an unhealthy point. Like I said, my sleep schedule's been whack, and, uh, I also haven't really been very social. I've been really indoors, so I'm probably gonna have to get out a lot next week, you know? It's getting really unhealthy. Like I said, it's, it's starting to get that cabin fever, you know what I mean? Uh, today I went to a coffee shop and drew with two other, other artists for, like, the whole day. And that's social, but 
honestly, I need to get out, get out, not just draw somewhere else. You know, <laughs> I need to stop drawing and get out for like a day or something. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll do that next week. Um, but I've been really into that. I'm really into video games for some reason. I play a little bit like here and there, not a lot, mostly like I said, art. But I've been playing Splatoon a ton. Um, obsessed with that. All right, going to the side of the wing here, and I'm continue to kind of like test things out. How is this going to look on the page? I always kind of think of that. How is this going to look on the page? Because I've seen like decent drawings, but they're like all the way to the left. They're all the way to the right. You know what I mean? Where it looks off. You know, it just looks like, wow, that was weird. It looks like the paper was cut incorrectly. Uh, one thing about the birds, obviously their talons are... And I haven't gone over bird drawings yet. I will, though. Once I feel like I have a better grasp, I'm going to make a video about how to draw birds, you know. Um, you know, obviously their talons are very reminiscent of, like, dinosaur talons, dinosaur, you know, hands, that kind of thing. Uh, because they're obviously, like, same ancestry. Um, to continue to kind of push that, also with feathers. Uh, feathers tend to be, and I'm going to make a feather video, so don't worry about this information, but feathers tend to be, they look like butter knives at the very end, and kind of how they overlap, and there tends to be a primary feathers at the very end, and then there's secondary. Uh, I think that's on the inside, unless they're reversed. Um, don't quote me on that. It's like it looks like it looks like it's parted sometimes. It looks like there's this big batch and then another batch on some uh, animals. I know the bigger the bird, uh, the kind of longer arms they tend to have, I believe, with smaller hands. Not always, but um, you know that. And then like I believe they fly differently too. The larger birds, like eagles, if you like, this is again. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. This is a generality, right? These are just general ideas. There's always an exception to the rules, but larger birds like eagles and stuff like that, hawks, they tend to have like longer wingspans and they tend to glide more. They're gliders, you know. You look at seagulls, they kind of do that too. And then little tiny ones, they tend to have, I believe it's backwards, like I forget, they tend to have shorter wings. I forget where exactly, but like I said, I'll go over it in a video when I really, really like ingrain this in myself. Um, they tend to have shorter like sparrows, if you look at those little sparrows that are everywhere over here in the U.S., little brown birds, um, they tend to like this kind of like whoop, 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 they tend to like flap. They tend to flap, flap, flap. You know what I mean? And they tend to like these little bursts of air as they flying. Um, so they don't tend to be gliders. Also, if you look at their arms, and again, I won't go over this. Oh, so let me talk about this. Um, so I'm drawing a little guy there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Maybe the guy's gonna fight this giant bird. So I just do this little dude, maybe from the back. He's not really ready, though. He's just like, what up? I'm drawing him on a mountain. This kind of ended up taking it more of the page than I thought. I wasn't really sure what to do. Uh, in the background, I have a little shade over there, maybe like Godzilla or something. Like Godzilla's fighting something else. And maybe this guy's chilling out. He's like a, a kaiju or something. I'm trying to like kind of create a story as well. I'm kind of bad with stories, but I'm trying to create some type of story. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a giant thing. It's just something to put in there to make the picture interesting. Um, along with this, I've been working a lot on tech uh, as well. I'm always kind of working on tech, but you're always kind of looking for that next level, right? Like I'm okay at tech, but I want to really push it like hard, uh, and I think that'll really benefit myself. Um, Continuing to kind of do this. I seem to be lingering for some reason. I must have left. Uh, this was actually three times faster than the way I drew it. I wish I drew this fast, but I don't. Um, actually, this isn't really that fast, even though it is three times faster. Continuing to kind of go in there, the wings. Um, I want to kind of have this like cradling effect, you know what I mean? Like if he was to close him, he'd be like, he'd like engulf him. More mountains in the back as well. I'm trying to put them a little more faint, though, so that there's some sort of atmospheric perspective, meaning there's an at atmosphere as something goes away from you, right? It kind of fades in the distance, right? That would be atmospheric perspective. Going into the wings itself. The wings are actually remarkably easy once you kind of get into it. The wings, uh, the wings uh, if you look at the arm, um, and again, we'll go over in a video... Um, uh, from the deltoid, if you know what the deltoid is, that's a shoulder to their, uh, I believe their wrist. They have like a uh, tendon that kind of stretches out. Like their their arms are so similar to ours. You know, they have that hand, they have everything. Uh, 
Again, kind of putting into more detail into the hand. Uh, at this point, I have like most of the picture. A lot of it is just kind of pushing uh, like detail. Uh, one one big thing I've been learning, like huge, huge thing, and I, I kind of made a video about it back then, but I'm even more on this now, would be the patience. The kind of like, every artist I see is really patient. Every artist like I really admire, not every artist I see, but every artist I really admire, I'm like, you know, they're not hectic, they're not in a super rush. They're just like precise, you know, so they don't have to erase anything, so they don't have to correct any mistakes. They're very precise. Um, and that's what I'm trying to kind of embody lately, at least with my own personal art. It's like really, right, hard for a lot of people, including myself, because I'm definitely the kind of guy that likes rushing through stuff or pushing the speed on things. Um, so it's, you know, kind of interesting. And uh, you got to catch yourself. You're like, okay, well, slow down, slow down. Um, I think the phrase that, and I, I kind of said this in another video, the phrase that my teacher said, um, I forget his name, Jonathan Quo, I think, Quo, Quo. Uh, he would say that phrase, I think it's a Navy SEAL phrase, which is, um, patience is, um, okay, let me see. Slow is fast, I'm sorry. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. I think that's, a, I believe it's like a sniper term. So slow is smooth, meaning it's smooth, it's just going right through and you're hitting it precisely. And smooth is fast. Ultimately, when you do this thing and you don't have to correct mistakes, it is fast. Ironically, that you take your time and you chill out and you just do it precisely and you will finish things quicker. And I have, I have discovered that too. It doesn't feel like that in the moment, but it's really strange. I'm going into more of the mountains in the back and more with Godzilla. Actually, it's not a mountain. I'm putting like a giant like worm monster or something like that that's way bigger than Godzilla. And again, these are all little faint things. You know what I mean? Just kind of find it amusing. Could you kind of put it in the background as well? Like I said, it's more like just what am I going to do now? Um, and the easiest thing I could do, which would read good in the distance, would be like a giant worm. I thought that would read well in the back. Hey, guys. Uh, one other thing, if you're still listening. I'm thinking about running a contest. Um again at some point really soon give me an idea give me some ideas for contests i really want ideas shoot, shoot them in the comments because I, I don't know what to do exactly you know um you know this is just on a side note for announcements i've also been working a lot of my tumblr and my twitter i'm trying to figure out what are some like unique things i can put on each of those things so that it'll be kind of worth it you know uh, also like trying to customize my site there's a lot of stuff moving right now and i'm, I'm really happy i'm like getting more and more into this like, uh, just more and more into the kind of art than I was before, you know? And that's kind of one of those things where I was into art for many years, but like I'm trying to be more into it than I ever have been. I've also been very addicted, if you know, I've been very addicted to uh, Nomen tutorials, if you know what those are. Uh, a Nomen is a website um, way back before the YouTube days, and they were uh, kind of selling tutorials from giant illustrators. Uh, I mean, they're they're a little bit dated now, but they're still good. And I, I think they I bought a bunch. They're now they do it on a subscription thing. You know, you have to pay sixty bucks a month. I bought sixty bucks, and I've just been watching them like crazy. And uh, it was been it was fun. You know, you learn a lot of little things from different people. Some guys you don't learn anything from. I I definitely seen, but you know, uh, a lot of them are great. You know, like guys from Sid Mead. You know, guys that worked on Star Wars. Um, you will learn some stuff. Even though I'm not like a huge acrylic guy, and he doesn't use digital, but it's you know still worth it just to kind of see or see the process of movies and stuff like that now I'm putting a thicker line on this bird because I really want that to appear you know I want that to kind of push forward a little bit I want them to kind of look like they're in a the distance and I want him to kind of look like he's at least in front of them you know like they're not just tiny like there's a perspective going on anyways that's pretty much the end of it guys I appreciate you uh, watching this let me know if you like this way better to kind of you know talk over it so like I have my mind free uh, you know, let me know in the comments below, check out the rest of the playlist, you know, all the other ones, and I'll talk to you guys another time. See ya.